Good morning. Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. Today is October 25th, 2021. It is 9.08 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, let's start looking at the futures today. We get to the risk disclaimer here. All forms of trading carry high level risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved, and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer Commodity Futures Trading Commission Trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities, have large potential rewards but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Okay. Alrighty, good morning everybody. Mr. Mike here. For the Mexicans out there, buenos dias. I'm finally in my little cubicle in my house here. Later, actually I set it up last night. I was quite, actually quite impressed. Didn't feel like it. It's just, you know, you get down here, you just want to have a few days off. But you know what? I got to do my my day trading, and we'll go from there. I got to see if this, and hopefully, I don't have up too much of an echo. But we're gonna find out. Try to do a little changes here. Anyways, let's uh, take a look what the markets are doing. So it looks like everything's in the green. They're saying NASDAQ futures rise ahead of big weeks of tech earnings. We're going to find out. We're still in the buy phase. So we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. Facebook shares under pressure following release of leaked whistleblower documents. Whatever. Like the, anything's going to happen. <laughs> this guy, I swear, I think he looks, I don't know if he looks like Chucky or he looks like an Android robot actually. <laughs> it's kind of weird, uh, whatever. And you know, I didn't even have tequila last night. Figure that out. Anyways, uh, SolarWind hackers are targeting the global IT chain. City downgrades. Mastercard says bank merchants and vast networks soon. Crypto services. See, everything's pushing towards crypto. It's interesting. Interesting. Uh, hybrid release, big screen. So, whatever. But it, things are pointing up. And on the crypto side, which I think is quite interesting, I'm just going to show you something here. Uh, let me just type this up on this side here. I just want to show you one thing, which is kind of crazy. Um, oh, yeah, I got my keyboard down here now. I don't even have to do that. Isn't it? Isn't this crazy? Right now it's at $228. I only put 20 bucks in on this stupid crypto thing. It's just going like crazy. I did that Poo coin or whatever, that Shiba one. See, look at that. It's crazy. And then this was free stuff. This has only made nine cents and I'm down on this one. But it's crazy. It's just it's free money. And the other thing is, before we get into the trading, if you start, if you guys are serious about crypto mining and all that stuff, I could kind of help you out, help you on it now. But on, on the NYSHAS system, like, I mean, look at this, $72. I cashed out before I, I came down south here. And so, as you can see, every three hours, I'm getting paid $2, $2, $2, $2, every three hours. This is a great, if you're trying to, guys are trying to build a 401k, you know, and you build, get, hopefully get your initial cards going and you can build them slowly, slowly but surely in time, it's great. So when I cashed this out, this one I transferred. I wanted to test this when I was doing research on Gnosis. So I'm, I got, I think I put what, $18. So it's up $4 already, which is a good return. And then this one, I'm just cashing in and transferring coins. And I got coins all over the place now. But anyways, I digress. We, we're, we're futures trading right now. So, but it's really interesting. If you guys are really interested, email me. So where are we right now? It is working. I just gotta watch out. I'm. I just set up, and I gotta watch my internet. Hopefully, I don't think goes goes anything terribly wrong. When I was setting up last night, I'm gonna digress. I saw the candle, this candle right here, around 30, 35, somewhere around here, and I'm going, 
should I jump in? And it was late at night, and I'm not a night trader. And I said, no, I got to keep my plan. Even though it did take off to 90, I knew it was going to go because I could see everything setting up because we know we want to get to this volume point of control. That's why I have this preset. And I said, no, I can't break my rules. That's for me, though. Sometimes it sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. So let's go to the daily chart. And I usually don't look at the charts, but because I'm sitting at my computers uh, last night to get everything going, uh, I wanted to make sure. So we actually have all, quite a bit of time on, on the buy phase, which is a good thing. And what I'm looking at right now, I'm looking at right there. You can see where the doji candle hit and you can see support and resistance. This technically would be, when we go to the four hour chart, this is gonna be an order block, guys. I'm gonna see it at 15.5 right here. So we might be able to get a good 100 point move. If this was at 14, 483, and then of course your swing high in due time is right there, so at 700. So we got some really good moves coming up. And like I said before, I'm gonna stay in draw mode for it because I tried to teach you guys on education all the time. Sell phase worked really good, and that was the previous buy phase which worked good. The buy phase came in and fa failed terribly. And then the sell phase failed ter terrible. Now, Jose's not here. He's actually, he went up north. He won't be around for a while. So this is what he called his famous W pattern. Some people think of this as Gartley patterns. You know, it should have went boom, 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 and then fired up and pulled down, we don't know. But from this point forward, it should be going up for a while. So we're probably gonna be hitting some resistance here. Plus there's a lot of money into there. There's so much, whatever, it's just crap. So where we are in the four hour chart, see now we're getting to the green cloud. The transition is done. That 15.5, see this, this is the order block I was talking about, okay? We've already had one order block resistance and they're gonna to try to squeeze it again for the second one. If it does take off, there's her top. Okay, so we'll have to watch from that point forward. So we had our deep retracement, now our pullback. Okay, we are done this chart. Now let's go to my other chart here. Why is it doesn't show that on this? Never these new. Is that the one I'm over? Yeah, it is. Let me just check here. Yeah, that's what I want to bring across. Okay, no, that's not the one I want to bring. Oh, that's good. I'll take a look at it for now. So, as you can see, see our New York session, it's all creeping up, which is a good thing. We do have, where's our market maker? Our most current market maker is way, way, way down here. Let's go region. This is our most current market maker right here. Okay? And I don't think we're going to get down there. I really don't think so. I think it's going to be an explosion going up, guys. Well, we'll hammer through here, but I think it's going to go up to these levels up here. This is what I'm looking at. I think I might even actually take a trade buying in right away. It all depends what the delta is looking at. When I start seeing the delta, I'm going to probably punch it this way. 1392, 14 to 155. So we got a big, big move coming up. Okay. That's what I'm looking at. The way it's set up because they're going to try to recover all this space here because look at how it dropped you know i thought it was quite funny actually yesterday when i did that on uh, friday i did that trade and it wasn't you know i said i don't like trading on fridays and it did make actually to dedicate it didn't even get the target one figure go figure but we made the points up to the the top of the area i think it was at 50 i cashed out and look at this this was this is a five minute chart so it, it did, I wouldn't see it at then, at that point, maybe I took this one, this initial phase, and I shut her down for the day. Yeah, that was the one. Came back down, retested, and crashed. Now that's a good move, guys. That's insane. I don't know what happened on Friday. I was busy packing, getting everything ready. That's just crazy. So what other trick do I have on this one? Aha, excellent. So, we'll watch at 11 o'clock to see if this is a failed 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 uh, signal was there a buy signal where was our last buy signal 
Why do I? Oh, there it is right there. There's another cell signal there which failed. There's our buy signal at 4 o'clock, so it is working for here. So 11 o'clock could possibly fail, but by that time, it could be all, already way up here. And then do we have any... We'll have to see what the signals are later. If it does do a serious pull down, then I would love to get it to this zone to buy in. Because this one exploded. There could be a pullback, but this could be the 11 o'clock pullback for a continuation. Okay. And then I'm going to show you here right now. Oh, will it show it? Let me just shrink this page here. And I'll move this across. It's almost at 1400. Don't you explore before I start today. So we've been having a lot of buying order blocks. They're just getting ready for, you know, uh, where are we? How many minutes? We got 10 minutes before open. So I'll set that up. Put that there. Delta is amazingly high. So we know that. And then let me get that other chart set up here. Which one is it? If I can find it. And then we'll go from there. So this one. Okay, so it's not chart three. Let's try chart two. Perfect, that's the one I want. Minimize this. There we go. What does our trade map say? Beautiful, 936 buying all day. This is what I'm talking about on the, uh, because we're on a one minute chart. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, any frequent time, so 933, there's that 933 whip out, 938 continuation. And we go up till eight or 10 o'clock. Might have pulled down again, second buy in 10.30 all the way up to 11. That could be your 11 o'clock sell off, but we don't know yet until it gets ready. Good, good, good. We're getting all set up here. And what's this one? Oh, this is all the same chart. I did not know that. Looking all over for it. It's right there. Perfect. Now, I wonder if I can keep this up top. Let's try this. Properties. Always on top, perfect. Now, this chart can stay up here while we're watching it. Perfect. So we can see our buy orders or sell orders. So you can tell they're selling now at the 1400 level. So there's probably blocks at the even number here. So it should do the punch whip down and continuation 934. And let's get to, wow, I gotta do a big turn here, 90 degree turn. <laughs> so, Okay, so where are we here? What's this chart? Yeah, okay, I like that one better for now. Let's see where we are. 11 o'clock sell off, we know that. That's five minute chart, perfect, we'll put it there. And we're basically good to go. So if we break through this 1400 level, like I said, we might can go up to, you know, I'm gonna create a region. There's gonna be two regions I'm gonna look at, the 50% region at the London session, right there. That's 127 extension, and of course, top of the region here, and that's 161. So that looks good, guys. We are good to go. And what I've got up to is I, when I get uh, everything set up in my house here, when everything is said and done, um, then I'm gonna finally get that indicator, that percentage indicator with the delta, so I don't constantly have to look at this delta. I can look at right on the corner here is it's very crucial to look at Delta at the same time while you're looking at your chart patterns. So, big blocks. I gotta find out what that color code is. I gotta find out the color code. I gotta find out what this color code is in properties. Let's see what it is. They're orangish at bid foreground. There's that one between foreground. Ugh when they say that. Why can't you just have it? Sienna between. So, and then what's this? Daily low. Ask foreground. I only have a set filter of three, so you won't see the ones flying like crazy. I want to look at the bigger blocks. And, uh, ask foreground, ask at bid. Ask is green. Bid should be 
red. There we go. We're betting the bet is lower. I know it's kind of mentally no, but we have a low bit here. So let's go. Bit is green. What are all the asks? Asks are red. So ask. Ask foreground. Above ask and ask. I want to make them all red here. Let's go like that. That'll be a lot easier. Above and at. And then bits are green. Let's try that. There we go. Of course it has to disappear on me. Let's find her. There we go. Ask, the pressuring up. Perfect, okay, bids, bids are down. Okay, a little education on about the asking bid. Aggressive buyers will use the ask because basically it sometimes is really hard to wrap for certain traders. So what does the ask mean? And basically, let's say you're gonna buy a car, and you ask the dealer, you're asking, how much do you want? That's the easiest way you think. He says, I want this price. And if you say, okay, they got the price for the value. And all of a sudden, if you think about it, you, the, the car dealer says, I'm asking this price, and you say, no, no, no. I want this price. This is my bid. This is what I'm offering. So basically, the bid is always a trading is a better place for entry if you're going to go up. And if you're shorting, the ask price is always better to go down. Okay? Because you want to get the high, that retracement. It's Once you get your head wrapped around it, you might get that aha moment. So when, when the reason why it's green, the ask means it's all it is, the color psycho psychologically is going up, pushing up, usually. And red is pushing down. But maybe it depends what type of trading you are. You might have to inverse the color saying, if it's starting to sink a lot of greens, then I might be interested in buying in, unless if it's the momentum is too crazy. So just to give you a heads up on that. Okay, so where are we? Four minutes before the open. Ooh, 85 degrees Fahrenheit here already. Okay, and uh, we're good to go. So we're gonna watch the first few minutes on the Delta, and uh, we're gonna get it set up, and hopefully, 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 what I would love to see is a quick sell-off. I don't wanna see it explode right away. I'd like to see a, a a quick sell off right away and then buy in. I'd like to see it actually pop down here. Actually, I should put a region there too. Uh, um, region. I'd like to see it just grab right there. Is that 24? Where is it? 60? So, right here. Yeah, right on the BWAP. So, and we can go from there. And we're good to go. Okay, almost fell. I almost fell naked. I didn't have my coffee with me. Yeah, good. At least my cameras were set up. I'm just not used to the 90 degree turns here. And we'll go from there. And I'll be back. I'm back. Okay, so it's uh, one minute before the open. I might just jump in right away. I just want to... I want to... How many seconds? I need that bar timer there. We'll see what happens right away to see if there's a major, major sell on. Uh, I wonder if I can put this on this chart right there. Will it hide? I'll keep it like that for now. I want to see you there going into the bid or not. Let's just watch what these blocks are doing first, first minute here. See what my delta is not even moving on this chart. Oh, it is. There it goes. 1100. There's that sell off. Let's see if we can get to that uh, one zone I'm, I'm really interested in. There's our quick sell off. And we'll wait till 9, what was it, 936? What I'm going to do. Oh, okay, I've got to move that out of the way. 
this across here. Here's that squeeze at 98. Market open price. They're going to go up. So I'm going to buy market. Order fill. And I'm going to shoot for. Well, they're playing back and forth here. It's going to go to 30 for sure. Whoops. And. Uh, Order submitted. Somewhere around 28. That's a quarter, and we should be able to get it. While, while it's vibrating like this, uh, Delta is pushing up, so I'm not worried about it. I wanted to see the initial snap back. One fifty, one sixty, one eighty, two twenty. Let's keep on going. We're at fifteen quarters at uh, they're gonna punch it now. What's our delta? Eighteen hundred, keep on going. Okay, I can start shutting her down here. And it's gonna be a fast fast day today, possibly. Keep on pushing three. Order. Ah, close it too early. 280. There, done for today, guys. Son of a gun, I saw it at 315. You know what? I'm gonna do it again. I'll let him do that snap back. I don't want that. I don't want my 300. Order filled. Give it a squeeze. One more squeeze. 15, negative 15, negative 20. 20. Order filled. 310. There you go. I wanted my $300 today, guys. I knew it was going to squeeze up there. So, anyways, like I said, three to five a day. I actually hit 300 on the money. There's the 26, going to hit the target. Boom, done. So for myself for day trading, guys, um, I'm a conservative trader in a sense. I mean, it looks like an ag aggressive pop-up, but what I'm, what I'm getting at is, is with my indicators and everything, my lifestyle is, I, I set it in stone. It took me a couple of years to kind of figure out how to trade it in a sense such that I don't get greedy. If I get greedy, then I try to trade too long. And what you're going to see here is, yeah, we're on the right track. This was my prediction target here, but when I saw three and it was floating and holding and holding, it will probably continue and uh, we can go from there. But it's not bad that I myself come here at what is it quarter after or maybe I have to see how long this video is we're at 25 minutes for $300 US for today and I'm done and I can walk away and do what I what I like to do I can go to the beach I can do my missionary work that I work in the southern part here of the city and that's what I like to do and I like to educate not many people ask me questions maybe they just like watching the videos and they're trying to figure what to do in life. Maybe they're stressed out of all the craziness that's happening in the world. Just get away from it. And But let's conclude this video and we'll go from there. What was I looking at, guys? Let's go through it to the first page. Let me uh, swap pages here. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the right page. Don't worry about this for now. We're not even working on blocks right now. See, we're still at 25 quarters, okay. This is where I'm always attracted. If I see this, I feel the most comfortable to trade because I could run for a day. If you're alone, want to trade for a long time, go for it. Everything's pointing up. There's our 936 pullback. This is pulling up. We have 936, 938, and maybe our next run till top of the hour, probably 10 o'clock. Yeah, around 10 o'clock, okay. That's what I'm looking at. Second trade map, what I'm looking at, we know we're in the buy phase, we're going up. Third one here, punching it up, we're going up. 
thanking order block here. By tomorrow, I'll say, oh, darn it, I should have done it. That's what I usually do in my videos. But I'm done. But I'm set in stone, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, we'll forget about this page here. I actually just added this when I said I'll be back. I was thinking, you know what, I haven't used baseline and baseline works really well to give you confidence on what on direction. Like yesterday when we were playing here, see we're fighting within the cloud, I was above the cloud the whole time. So I watched the pop get back to the zone of interest and pull back down, okay? And then here, there we go again. Everything's trending up again. We're at uh, 25. Let's focus on this, see where we are. It's falling 25. We're at the edge edge of the 70%. Let them fight for a while. Do the pullback continuation on. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me at uh, abc123trader. And if you other have other questions, uh, I'm going to move this out of the way. See, I got a Discord group, guys. You guys, nobody chats. I don't get it. I know I have a few people watching. You can download the indicators as well to try them out. And we can go from there. Other than that, you guys have a great day. I know I'm going to have a great day. Take care.